them. So as soon as Nike launched theirs, I was like, I want to get my hands on them because they are an affordable brand as well as they make really great formulas. I don't think I've ever done a Nike haul on my channel, and that's so surprising because I'm always shopping off Nike. This is my absolute favorite bullet lipstick formula. Nothing even comes. Close to this. The first foundation, which is also a new launch of 2019, is the Nykaa Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation. This foundation, like, can you see? I've totally used it up. Like, I need to buy a new tube of this ASAP. So yes, this foundation total hit. Hi, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, then hi. I'm Sarah. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube, and this video is going to be different. Then my usual beauty content. Of course, from the title of the video and the clips that I just played, you possibly know where this video is headed and in what direction. Uh, so let's be very clear and give a disclaimer right before we dive into all the facts that I have that I want to talk about in this video. First, being that before I became a creator uh, in the year 2017, before that I have been purchasing and have been an avid consumer of their products since the year 2015. I have always shopped makeup on their platform, and I have always been one of the biggest advocate for the platform, given the fact that it was so easy for consumers like us to get everything on that one big platform. None of it was ever paid, and none of the video clips that you just saw, which are videos from my channel that still exist on my channel were ever paid partnerships or paid sponsorships they were always my honest opinion and i have always been very brutally honest on this channel i also want to put it out there at the beginning of this video that in no way is this video promoting cancel culture i'm not here to cancel any person or any brand whatsoever i'm a strong believer that everybody has a potential to change and if that brand or person takes responsibility for their mistakes they can always change we are not perfect people i am not perfect none of you all watching this are perfect so who the hell are we to cancel somebody you know we don't really have that right to do that so i am going ahead in this video by just saying that i'm going to state facts and my personal reason for why i will not be shopping from that brand or that platform anymore and at the end of the video i will also be sharing with you all the alternatives that i will from now on be using to shop for my makeup online so if you're just interested in that then i'm going to leave a time stamp right here so you can head on to that time stamp and watch the other platforms that you could possibly promote and help them grow as well in this very competitive industry now bearing in mind that i as a consumer have pumped in so much money into that brand ke every week मेरे घर में एक नया नायका का पार्सल आता है मतलब लिटरली आई एम ऑलवेज शॉपिंग ऑनलाइन ऑन दियर ब्रांड एंड आई एम ऑलवेज प्रमोटेड नायका ओनली ऑन माई चैनल विथ नो पेड एक्नोलेजमेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम देम और एनी थिंग नो a bias coming from that brand side towards me it's just been because it's so convenient you know and i think everybody has done that all the links in my description box have always always been only nike platforms because i feel like if you're shopping you might as well shop everything from one place only but from now on i'm going to change all of that i am going to make a very clear change in my choices from where i consume makeup and my choices of the platforms i choose to support and promote on my channel now of course the issues that have just surfaced uh, surfaced after diet sabya which is an instagram page made this post online i'm going to put the post up here and uh, when i saw that post i was very taken back and also they shared a lot of stories of ex employees of nike coming out and saying what a toxic environment it was to work over there it was always about the higher uh, paid and the richer people of the company trying to uh, make the people who are not so well to do feel very low of themselves there was a lot that came out right from sexual harassment to racism to everything that came out in those diet sabya stories and posts and looking at that i hit a realization that everything that's happened with us as creators we've kept it within ourselves we've not really taken our platforms to speak about it but now that everything about employees has also come out and now that everything is in the open i think it's high time that we speak up as well so taking it back about 2 months when this lockdown initially started that is the month of march uh, i received an email from the nike tv team uh, saying that they wanted me to do two videos for their channel where i would be shooting and i would be editing in my room setup with all the products that i have at home and it will be surfacing on their platform their youtube channel So when I read that first I was very excited I was very very excited that I got an email from Nike TV and it was an official official email 
just imagine somebody like me who's been a constant content creator since three years working with a brand like Nike is a dream come true you know so whenever we do actually uh, tag products or whenever we do talk about products or whenever we work on our platform and grow our platform we hope to see this day when brands like Nike and huge brands reach out to us and want to work with us but then very clearly in that email it also said it was a part of collaboration now let me explain to you what a barter collaboration really means. A paid collaboration is a commercial collaboration where I would give my charges and they would send over their products as well as I would be producing my content for them. A barter collaboration is simply when they send over their products to me and I will be doing a video for them. So it's like exchanging products. Now when I saw that I was very excited but the very next moment I thought you know what is in this for me. Because I am doing all the hard work, I'm going to be shooting this just by myself, I'm going to be editing it by myself and this is going on their platform. So I'm not even going to get the AdSense money from it because you know you get ads in your videos and you do make some money out of it. So I'm not getting anything out of this. So I asked my friend who's also a PR consultant uh, that should I go for this. So she said I should because uh, this is a big brand and they do have almost close to 1 million subscribers on their YouTube channel. So it would help me and attract some traffic on my channel as well. And so just keeping that barter in mind, I accepted the collaboration. Now I could not really ask for products. I did two videos with them. One was how to do a red lipstick. And they wanted me to swatch all my red lipsticks for that video and the other was my oily skincare routine. Now mind you when Nika reached out to me they were very thoroughly prepared. They had seen all my videos because the skincare routine that they wanted me to do in Hindi for their channel is the same video that they asked me to duplicate from my channel. So the one that I have already done on my channel in English they wanted that very routine just with the products that they retail on their website on their channel. So I was like, okay, fine, everything I already have. I did not ask for products. I didn't think about that because initially in the month of March and half of April, makeup products were not retailing in the market uh, anymore, you know, because of the whole COVID and the lockdown. So I could not really ask for makeup from them. So that thought did not really occur in my mind. So I let it go completely and I did make the videos for them. Just as unofficial they were about paying me, they were very official about getting the whole deal done. I wrote almost five scripts for them back and forth because they wanted me to write a complete write up of what I would be speaking in the video. And after doing that, there were con constant changes that were coming from their end and I would constantly have to be making changes. If you've seen my vlogs from the quarantine season, every time I spoke about uh, working on scripts, those were those scripts that I was working late at night and ch sending her changes. And finally I did sit down, film the video the first time I did, it did not turn out very good because I am not very fluent when it comes to speaking in Hindi so fluently on my channel. So then I went ahead, I even asked her if I could speak in English because I am not very comfortable speaking in Hindi but she said no, it's for their Hindi audience. So I said okay fine and I went ahead with all their claims. I was a stupid fool that did not think this through that the amount of work they were making me do I should have charged them. But in none the case I had already accepted the contract so I went ahead I did my job I put out two videos and gave it to them right in time. The person who was in contact with me about this entire Nika TV collaboration kept on asking me where the videos were because of course these things take time to edit and I was also creating content for my channel but I tried to stick to the deadline and send the videos uh, on the deadline itself and she received both those videos. This happened in March. If you go on Nika TV's channel and see my videos surfaced on their platform just like about last month, that was in the month of June, they took their own sweet time to put it on their platform but they wanted the content from me very up and ready. So after I was done with my side of the job, I just left it. I was like, you know what, if they want to take it online, they will. They will do whatever they want with that video. And when if I am to get any subscribers from it, I will get it. So I just left it because I have 100,000 other things to think about. And you all know that I am a medical student, I'm a full-time medical student. So honestly, I can't really put my mind into so much of the analytic part of this entire industry. And so I just left it. After that, I just kept on continuing with my work for my channel. Cut to about 15 days later, uh, my friend and a makeup artist and the person who you saw in my Pride Month collaboration, uh, Just Deep Drama is his Instagram handle, Deep Pathare, was also approached by them for Pride Month collaboration. Now, as I speak about his side of the story, he has given me complete consent to do that. 
we spoke last night and he told me that I should be voicing out whatever happened with him as well. So when he was approached for a Pride Month collaboration for their YouTube channel, he was given the exact same offer as me. So the first thing he asked me uh, was, she's not really talking about money. So I said, yeah, there is no money involved. It's a barter collaboration. So he was like, what is the barter about? Because I am not getting anything out of this. So I said, I just accepted to do it because it was a big platform. And by that time, my one video had already gone up on their channel. So I told him that I didn't really get a lot of traffic from their channel. Uh, it, my subscriber count is exactly how it always was. So you decide to do it on your terms. I will tell you how working with her was. And I told her the exact same thing that I just told you. The entire work experience uh, with Naika TV that was involved. So initially he was considering it and he accepted it and he said okay fair enough let's do it because his subscriber count is very low on YouTube. So he started talking about the video idea with that person and as he was speaking he was asked to recreate the James Charles makeup look for their YouTube channel and in that makeup look uh, James has used uh, rhinestones in his makeup. So Deep asked them that I do not really have rhinestones so I can't really complete the makeup look. So they asked him if he could use something else. So he said, yeah, I can use a white eyeliner, but I don't really have that as well. So the response that he got from the other side was, can't you buy it? Now that really ticked him off because hello, he does not own Nika and you are the brand. You are the multi-chain. You want this for your platform. You should be the one sending makeup. And, and by this time, makeup was again being sold on Nika online, on all the platforms online. So what was the hesitation? So when he told me this, it really ticked me off as well. Because I was like, I could not really have such an experience because I didn't really ask for makeup. And they were very clear about, you know, uh, your lipstick collection, your skincare routine. So it was everything mine. So then Deep was very clear with them that either you make this a paid collaboration or you send over products because that's what uh, brands usually do. They send over products if they can't really pay you. That person from Nika was very clear that they do not send products apparently and they are not even going to pay for the video. So he cut off the collaboration and he did not make the video with them. After this incident happened somewhere in early May or late May, uh, both Deep and I mutually decided that we would not be working with Nika anymore and personally not keep any relations with Nika. All our dreams of working with Nika was shattered when that happened with Deep itself. Because if a brand doesn't really respect how hardworking you are, does not respect your content, because they very well know how good of an artist Deep is, how good he is at his makeup. They know that he can nail that look very, very well. So they want the content from him, but they don't want to pay him. They know that I have a good filming setup. I have my background, my sound check, my camera. I have everything already ready made. So they are getting free content from me, but they don't really want to pay me. Then what kind of a business partnership is this really? And honestly, to the point that that person who was from Nika even wanted to see product shots and a demo video of me filming the video. She wanted me to send small clips so she knows that it's perfect. And I even went on record to tell her that you're expecting too much from me. So she's like, I'm sorry, there's been a lot of uh, bad experiences in the past. So we want to make that make sure that everything is perfect. And I being the fool that I am thinking that my uh, name is on the line, you know, it's my brand also, my personal brand that is on the line. So I can't really give them shit content. I comply to everything that that brand asks from me. And at this point, when I see my videos with Nika on their page, I honestly regret it. I regret thinking that it was a very bright and shiny opportunity for me to work with them because it really wasn't. It did not give me recognition. It did not give me anything. It was hard work for nothing. I regret pumping so much of my money into a company that does not respect their employees, that does not respect their creators and is not ready to acknowledge the work that people are doing for them. Now, after Deep and I came to the conclusion and as creators, we decided that we would not be working. We did not really think of taking it on our platforms and announcing and creating a drama out of this because we were like, leave it. Uh, it's something that anyways happens in the industry. We are small creators. We've not experienced enough. So, hota hoga, humko nahi malum hoga. This is a learning experience for us. So we left it at that. And then another person from Nika TV who was at a higher post reached out to me for a third video collaboration. And yet again, she wanted a barter collaboration and it really mind boggled me. Like, how can you still ask me to do free stuff for you? Do you have any respect? You're a huge, huge brand. So it irritated me to the next level, but I still kept my calm very decently and in a professional way. I told her that, listen, it's a lot of effort from my side to continue to do it as a part of collaboration. I can work for you for your platform, but you will have to pay me. So you need to get commercials involved if you want to do this. So she took some time to reply to that and she asked me what would my charges be for the same. 
So once again, I went to my PR consultant friend and I asked her and I went back to her with my charges. And, and then she told me she would take a day to reply to me. Okay, fine. That was done. I just left it. I thought they would not get back to me. The next day, she actually told me that that will do and she wants to work with me and she's ready to make the payment. So I was surprised like, okay, wow, they are actually trusting me now. And maybe those two videos were just a way to uh, trust me. And then later on, they are going to pay me. So I was happy that, chalo, I'm finally getting paid for my hard work. Even if I have to create more videos for them, they are ready to pay me. So that was all the conversation that I had with her. This was on the 3rd of July. Today I have filmed this video on the 15th of July. And I have never heard back from her since that. I even followed up once asking her where the email was. Because we were going to take it on email officially and make it a contract. But uh, she said she was busy and she would eventually go through with it. But that really did not happen. So I left. So at that point, I was like, 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 I I am good creating organic content for my platform. So all of this has already been done and has happened a while back, okay? So last of all of this was the 3rd of July that I had that conversation with her. And still we, and by we I mean Deep and I were not taking it online or really uh, calling out the brand for anything that happened with us as creators. We just left it. And in this whole experience of me working with Nike, I've also spoken to other creators who have worked with them in the past because usually when you get an offer from a brand, you want to know other creators experience as well and it's honestly not been good with any of the creators uh, that have worked with them so i realize that they have a pattern and this is the pattern that they follow so i really don't want to get into the whole ropes of this because i have a life apart from youtube and i really want to focus on that life so i left it completely but when the diet sabya post went online it really boiled my blood i was like this is not okay this is not okay when you're treating your employees so badly in such a toxic environment that they literally want to leave their jobs in. You're harassing them, you're making them feel low for their skin color, for their race and from where they belong and you're an inclusive platform. You have always stood for inclusivity on your platform. And also I forgot to mention that they did not feature a single queer makeup artist on their Nika, My Nika page for Pride Month. When they made the post, it was all cisgender women who are all amazing makeup artists but they did not even think about featuring Deep or other a queer makeup artist who are from the platform so honestly you you are not inclusive you know what kind of a pride month post is this way of not even supporting the lgbtq plus community so at this point it was like you know pani sar ke upar se chala gaya and that is when deepa and i decided that we would comment on the post our personal experience and really take it down to there and after we went ahead and posted those comments both of us have received so many dms saying that we are very brave and we are very bold to actually call out a brand like nika it's not really about being brave and bold, it's about what is wrong is wrong. If you're going to treat us in the wrong way, if you're not going to respect your creators, your employees and even your consumers for that fact. So many times that I have shopped on Nika, I have received uh, whenever the freebie used to come in, you know, whenever they have these discounts and whenever the freebies come in, I have received expired products in those. And I have gone on record to say there was a time when Nika's delivery system was so bad, so bad that they would say that they have delivered the product, but it, it would not come in. So there have been so many issues with Nika in the past as a consumer for me as well. But I never really took it to the platform because I was like, Theek hai, it's a brand, it happens, mistakes happen, packaging problems, hota hai, transit problems, hota hai. everything I always kept justifying. At this point, I can't really take it and so I am discontinuing shopping from the brand. So this is my personal opinion. I as a creator and a consumer want to start promoting and supporting other platforms that you can also shop from that are also growing in other industries that we can also put our money in because we don't have to collectively pump our money just into one brand. They can continue to thrive while others can also continue to thrive. So I am not going to tell you that stop shopping on Nike or anything like that. You have a brain of your own. You can make your own decision. You can decide for yourselves. This was my personal experience that I really wanted to get off my chest that this really happens. This is the truth behind the beauty community and I wanted to say this because I know how much my community was happy when they saw me on Nika's page there were so many people who commented on their videos saying we are so happy that you're doing videos with Sara and this is the right thing to do and so many people commented saying hashtag Sara squad so I know that I have a big community who's following me who's there for me who's supporting me and that is what matters to me ultimately you know I know as a small creator if I am taking this video online today I am costing myself the 
potential of working with a brand like Nike or maybe even other brands that are associated with Nike in the future but I really honestly don't care. I want to be able to use my platform and my voice to call out when something is downright wrong. I hope you guys understand that this comes from a personal point of view and you can make your own choice like I already said. Now having said all of this about the brand I am still going to give the brand a chance if they make changes. If Nike goes ahead on record to take responsibility for everything that they've done and actually go on record to start paying their creators, respecting their employees and respecting their consumers, then I might just go back to purchasing from them because I think everybody has a chance for improvement. And Nike being such a multi-chain where so many people work for the company itself, so many jobs are involved, I don't really want to cut out anybody from their jobs. I want that company to thrive, those jobs to thrive, but at the same time I need that company to take responsibility. I am ready to go back to being the consumer that I was for them. So hence I'm telling you that I am not here promoting cancel culture, that is not my intention behind making this video. And now what about the products that I already have from Nike because I have a lot of products from them. I actually just, just ordered a nail polish from them. So about that I'm going to continue using them in my personal Life because I like those products I have paid my money into those products so I'm not going to let my money go to waste but for my channel and my platform I'm going to try to use more variety of brands and more different brands uh, and more smaller companies as well so that I can use my platform to promote them as well without any uh, sponsorship or paid anything involved just my honest opinion as for being an affiliate with Nike I was very much an affiliate uh, with Nike so here on I am not going to be leaving any more Nike affiliate links in my description box from now I am actually revoking the affiliate with them but I will only be doing that once I receive my due payment till the month of July. I have not received any payment from Nike affiliates since February. They haven't paid me or Deep or I can't really speak about other creators. So once I get my payment, I will cancel my affiliation with them completely. So that is my job here done. Now I do not want to end this video on a negative note. So let's just keep all of this aside and talk about other platforms that we as consumers should be supporting because these are up and coming platforms that you can very well shop makeup on and when I start in my research uh, three days back when I started looking into other platforms I was like I'm living in a rock you know there are so many platforms that retail makeup why haven't I been purchasing from them so the first brand I want to give a shout out and a huge huge shout out to is Vanity Wagon I don't know if you know this but they are India's first and largest cruelty free makeup retailers so all the cruelty free makeup and skincare that is available in India is sold on their website their website is all about clean beauty and so I love that fact and I do actually want to consciously make an effort to start shopping more cruelty free makeup and skincare I think with skincare it's very easy but with makeup it gets a little tricky in India because we don't have that many brands but yeah they have a huge catalog on their website and you can also shop by concern on their website another clean beauty website that we have here in India is sublime official I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description so you can of course head on from there to their official pages and of course none of this is sponsored they are a little smaller than vanity wagon but they are also completely promoting clean beauty on their platform if you want an app on your phone they have foxy uh, they do have a website as well but their app is very convenient to use if you're a creator you can also register there as a creator they have almost every single brand right from Kadi naturals to beauty and co to maybelline and body shop and everything almost everything is there and they do run discounts as well it is of course smaller but i definitely I definitely feel it's an up and growing brand because it's an application and much much more convenient to use and also they have this amazing feature where you can take a selfie and then they will just analyze everything about you your hair type your skin type your color your skin color your hair color and then your home page will be curated to your personal concerns about your skin and your hair so I think that feature is very handy for people who don't really know what to buy. Now coming on to other websites which retail almost everything. Of course we know that Mintra does have a beauty aspect of it along with fashion. So Mintra sells almost everything. They have MAC, they have Maybelline, they have Elegor I think. They have almost every single makeup brand. And when you're shopping for some clothes online you can definitely add a nail polish or a lipstick in your cart as well. The other website we have is purple.com which has a huge inventory of brands right from faces to plump to Maybelline to uh, I think I have everything written Ellie Girl, Milani, Swiss Beauty, Makeup Revolution and everything purple has almost every single brand you will want especially at the drugstore 
and they also have the beauty assistant feature which Foxy has. Another website we have is HOK Makeup which is amazing when you want to shop from Makeup Revolution, Wet n Wild, Physicians Formula and stuff. They have a huge inventory of products and they run crazy deals on these products like crazy crazy deals. They have a limited inventory of brands under them but they have amazing deals on the ones that they already have. Now if you are more of a bougie person and you want to shop from Benefit, you want to shop from Smashbox and Estee Lauder and stuff like that, Sephora dude, Sephora's official website, sephora.nnow is the website you should go to. They have everything right from your luxury perfumes to your luxury makeup. So if you are into luxury and high-end makeup, Sephora is the place for you. Then we also have individual uh, websites for the individual brands like Lakme has its individual website, Colorbar has its individual website and even Sugar. Sugar's official website is actually one of my favorites because they run crazy discounts and uh, treats and stuff like that on their official website which is not usually on other websites and other applications. It's personally only to their websites. I think certain brands like Huda Beauty and NYX are two brands that I personally like and I have not been able to find on any of these platforms. So in the future if I do desperately want to buy from NYX or Huda Beauty, I might just purchase on Nykaa. But apart from that, I'm going to make sure that I as a consumer try to purchase from all these other websites here on from now so that I am making a wiser choice in what I'm putting my money in. With that, I complete everything that I had to say in this video. I feel like a huge burden is lifted off of my chest because I really wanted to put this out there. And I was very conscious about the fact that I should do it or just let it go. You know, dunya aisi hai. Sometimes I'm just like, you know, why am I getting into all of this? I have a full-blown study and career that is lying on the side. I can just leave all of this and focus on that. But I took a poll on Instagram and I took a poll on my community tab and almost 97% people wanted me to speak. It wasn't even like a 50-50 case. It was 97% people who wanted me to speak who wanted me to share other platforms they can shop from. So here you have it, everything out in the open. Now you can make your own choice. I'm sure everybody has an opinion of their own. So you can make your own opinion. I'm not imposing my opinion on you. This is my personal, personal decision. Just my decision. That's why the video is titled, Why am I not shopping on Nykaa anymore? You can make your own call. So this was all I had to say. For today's video, the Sarasworth shoutout will go to one of my OG subscribers. Uh, I think your name is Monica. Your username on YouTube is MB. But just as you guys see me, I see y'all and I know your names by now. So thank you Monica for watching and supporting my channel. And thank you to the entire Sarah squad for all of you guys who watch me. For all of you guys who supported me. Y'all are the reason that I have a voice today. Y'all are the reason I have this platform today. And I have always felt that I have certain responsibility towards y'all. That I have to keep certain level of transparency with y'all and that is the only reason that I do what I do. I have said this time and time again that I'm not here for the money. All the acknowledgement, all the support that I need is from y'all and as long as I have that acknowledgement from y'all, I'm going to keep this space very honest and very transparent forever. Like for as long as I am on this platform, I will make sure my channel is all about transparency. It's also always going to be about positivity. So we are going to be back with another full-blown positive fun makeup related video very soon of course. Uh, but yeah, if you want to be a part of next video Sara Squad shout out, then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon right next to it and comment below saying hashtag Sara Squad and you'll get a chance to be a part of next video Sara Squad shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are home safe and sound and taking care of yourselves and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys. Love you all.